find. Hey, Tyler, it feels like you guys were able to get the whole running back group uh, involved today. Just what do you like the depth about that group? What do you think they showed? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a big time job by that room just stepping up. Um, you know, we knew that we were going to face some different looks this week. Um, some light boxes, they're going to kick out, play man sometimes, but they were running hard the whole time. So it makes it easy on me, you know, when we're even getting those run checks and the whole room, super proud of those guys. You know, I, there's no drop off. You know, when, whenever somebody new is in the game, it's like you're reloading, you know, they have that same capability. So I have full confidence in them, and Coach Barclay does a really good job getting them ready to play. Uh, that you targeted 11 different receivers, 10 guys made catches today, including the guys out of the back. Let's just talk about how dangerous this wide receiving core is with you. Well, I mean, I, that's a, I didn't know that. That was a pretty cool stat. I mean, I think it goes to show what we've been talking about the whole time and that, you know, we have a bunch of guys that can go out and make, go out and make plays, and I trust every single one of them, um, obviously, just to go out there and throw it to them. And, you know, whatever we're seeing, you know, I'm going to try and feed them. And, uh, you know, they did, they did get a really good job catching the ball. I could have had better ball placement on a lot of my throws. Um, just got to, you know, put it, put it on them more. Um, but they did a really good job making plays at the end of the day. The O-line did a great job um, protecting up front, too. I felt it was really clean. You know, I, I think we had no sacks or very little, minimal hits, and um, if that, they were bringing cover zero, stuff like that, so they did a really good job. Alex? You guys are able to provide a plan to take on the other side. How much do you guys take from these two games and kind of evaluate, especially you know, having a little bit of time before the ACC opener? Yeah, I think, you know, I think we find out you know, the things that we're good at and what we need to work on. Um, you know, you're facing uh, a great opponent every single week, and it's only going to get tougher, and it's going to be a challenge. Um, so I think it was we did a really good job of, of starting fast um, and, and, you know, taking some punches. You know, we had some mistakes, and we had some things that we wanted to clean up. Um, but we, we faced a lot, and, you know, I think these two weeks we've learned a lot. So, you know, going into the rest of the season, we got to take advantage of every moment, every rep, uh, every practice to, to continue to climb. See you. Tyler, buddy, your estimation about – what percentage of the playbook do you feel like you guys have really showed in these two weeks? And, and basically, like, how much more do you feel like you guys have shown? Yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't put an exact number on it, but I feel like, you know, we're gonna we're gonna attack the defense that we see every single week and whatever that may be. And we, we have a lot of plays in, in a short answer that we can get to, um, and I think that's one of our strengths is that Coach Brom is willing to call a lot of plays, and and we have to know a lot of them, and you know, that's partly partly on my job as well, and. You know, I feel really confident in what we can do and um, spreading the ball around like we were talking about earlier. Um, so I think just the, the ability that we have, you know, on offense and the talent and then the play the playmaking ability and the play calling, um, you know, we can get into whatever we need to uh, do to get the job done. And that's running the ball, throwing it, you know, screens, check downs, taking deep shots, um, feeding the tight end, you know, whoever it may be. I feel like we, we kind of got, got it to everybody. That's the entire Tyler, just two games in the book for you now. What have you learned maybe about yourself? Uh, obviously, being in this game for a long time, you learn something still every day. So what have you learned about yourself through these first couple games? And what do you feel you personally can still do to grow moving forward, especially mm -hmm. with this bye week? Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, whenever we have good good things to happen, you just keep your foot on the gas and, and still go into every single play and rip the ball. You know, I feel like we, we – had some close calls on some of those shot plays with some PIs, but really kind of take advantage of those when we can, but then just do my job and, and spread it out to the guys. I think what I've learned so far is, um, you know, good things can happen when you're not trying to push. You know, you don't, it's, you know, 90%. You know, when you're trying to be a hero and make every single play, that's usually when bad things happen. So um, definitely learned a lot um, and trying to continue to get better each week so we can get to where we want to be. Tyler. Yes, I'll kind of go off that. You hit some big plays today, but it felt like you had to be a little good. To, to get down the field in this game as mm -hmm. opposed to Austin Peay. What did the Coach Jeff or Coach Brian tell you about staying patient, taking your shots when you get them, but ultimately not forcing them? Sure, yeah. I mean, they, they do a really good job on defense at Jackson State of, of changing up different looks. You know, they play 3-3-5 um, three, three, structure, and they're going to get out in the three-double cloud or cover one or zero combo and sometimes keep back to, to four or three. So they're going to change it up. And I think, you know, when we had those light boxes or when we had some advantage runs, um, we got to take them, and you know some RPOs may not be there. And then when we have some shots and, and they're not there, we got to hit the check down. So um, they do a really good job of of you know getting us getting us in good plays, and it's my job to to take advantage of them. And if it's not there, we get a different look and um, take a positive play. I think my goal is you know every single play is just don't have a negative play, and um, even if there is going to be one, you know then eliminate turnovers. So um, got to do a better job of of you know increasing um, that side of the ball as far as. Not, give, not giving them the ball. You know, we didn't have any turnovers necessarily, but um, we just got to keep, you know, going forward and, and eliminate eliminate negative plays. Tyler, 
All right. Sweet. Thanks, guys.